I'm a financial planner with a local firm, Future Proof Financial. Born and bred in Lismore, went away to work for a little while, came back. So I uh, reside here with my wife and two children. I'm one of the lucky ones. I've had melanoma uh, level one and it recently came back, a uh, little bugger. So um, I had a little bit of a delay getting started with this and it's, uh, it's on the healing path. We're telling a story uh, about a, a man who has been touched by cancer. He's going through the emotions of that. My great teacher, Talia, has put together a, a pretty challenging dance. I'm not going to lie, in the beginning I was a little nervous, <laughs> um, but to see how far he's come and to see all of the hours that he's put in as well to get to where we are. A male belly dancer, that was a first for me, so I had to get a little creative with what I was going to do for that one. There's no belly shaking from me, <laughs> which is good. <laughs> The brain takes over and sort of goes, oh, what are you doing? What are you getting yourself into? It is very challenging and uh, a little bit of fun. At, yeah, the, the end result hopefully will be, will be good. Um, I just want to uh, do the best I can, I suppose, for my teacher in particular. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Michael and Natalia would like to tell you that they are telling a story about a man faced with the news of cancer and the stages he goes through from an overwhelming veil of emotions, which includes sadness, hope, despair, and then finally on to the fight. Put your hands together for Natalia and Michael. Put your hands together for Michael and Talia. Well done, guys. That was fantastic. I liked this sword, uh, this stick sword routine. I thought it was watching from stage left and flinging it around like you've been doing it for years. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. How did you think you went? How did you feel? 
I'm very proud of that. It's fantastic. Yeah. I, I think, think this is a new outfit great. choice for you. What are you thinking about the outfit? You love, I, I love the hat. Oh, yeah. That's all he's got to say, thanks. Yeah. Salia, tell us about rehearsals. What were they for you? Oh, it's been great. We, um, we actually only got paired together about nine weeks ago. So Michael has worked so hard and he's putting every, um, every spare minute he has had to practice. So let me get this right. Michael had the shortest time out of all the dancers that you'll see tonight to learn this routine. Give him a round of applause. So keep that in mind when you guys get to cast your People's Choice Awards. Nine weeks, and look what he did, that was fantastic, Michael. Well done, buddy, well done. Okay, we're gonna go over to our judges, and we're gonna pick on Katrina. Katrina, how did you feel that one went? What and did you like? And knowing that he had the shortest time too, Katrina, to learn that dance mm -hmm. as well. So Katrina knows, she did this last year, she knows how hard Beautiful. it is to get up here and dance in front of an entire community. Katrina, tell I'll us what you that, thought. I'll take that into account. Now, I thought he had great food playing. I was really impressed with that. Katrina, could you speak a little bit closer? We can hardly hear you up here. Sorry. Yes, certainly. Um, I really enjoyed your solo work too. That was really great to go out and do a solo all on your own. Um, I know how difficult that is. But yeah, I really enjoyed your flute playing as well <laughs> at the start. You really set the scene um, coming out onto the stage. Um, it was very dramatic. So, well done. Could you just show us that little bit again, the flute playing, just one more time? But, no? Okay. Is that, that's a definite no. He has done his job. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for these beautiful, beautiful dancers one more time. Thank you very much, guys. Don't forget your flute.